What? Where there's a will, there's a... what? Yes? I'm not going to like this, am I? Yeah? It's nice to be needed. Why didn't I look here first? And more to the point, why must I come fetch you for every little thing? Ugh, you do know this is the day the Lords of Isselbright are visiting? You are simply the laziest... Never mind. The Lords are already here and waiting to be served. And for goodness sake, don't forget to gather your things from your chest before you come to table.
do it. I'll do it. On my way. Hello. At last. Ugh, don't go twisting an ankle in all your hurry. You take care of the drinks. Lord Woolcraft and Lady Larenthal prefer wine. Lord Joran would like ale. Lady Virilin and Lord Espen want mead. Go! Staff, I was starting to wonder if you'd all fallen ill with the plague or something. Huh. Hello. Yes, yes, get on with it. I suppose you expect me to toss you a coin for doing your job. supposed to be served at room temperature. No, of course you don't. Hello. 
Ugh, the carriage was quite stuffy, and my throat is sorely parched. Just what I wanted for a change. You're here, finally. Ah, good. Shall we do business, gentlemen? Gentle ladies? Yes, let's. We are convened to discuss the situation with Deron Gould. What has been rumored and suspected for so long has finally come to pass. A council of nobles with mining interests in the town have declared themselves independent from the crown of Isilmerald. I don't like this dirty business, sending a list of grievances to the king. Sounds more like the actions of a bunch of uppity peasant farmers than nobility. There are ways these things are done. And there are ways that kingdoms may crumble. I understand your feelings on the matter, Lady Larenthal. But Darren Gould enjoys the sympathies of many important persons here in the North, and I number myself among them. What's more, there have already been defections among the Azimeral nobility, most recently Alnar. She speaks of your son, Lord Espen, who chose to forsake his birthright to join the rebels. Ah, yes. Thank you, Lady Larenthal, for reminding me. And I'll thank you, Lady Virilin, not to speak his name on this estate, nor in my hearing again. Ah, oh, why, I will... <laughs> but you won't. Whatever the loyalties of her... Uh the young lord of House Espen, the southern nobles have many legitimate complaints. Heavy, some say ruinous taxation, delayed shipments thanks to the crown's regime of inspections and checkpoints, the king's insistence that Deron Gould's military, e even the town watch, must be trained in the north. It's quite a list. Yes, it's all very sad. I'm sure they toss and turn the night away on their beds of gold bars. Taxation and bureaucracy are simply the facts of managing a prosperous nation, of keeping our enemies at arm's length. How long would their precious minds keep producing without the king's protection? Did you know, I heard this rebellion was prompted in part by a belief making the rounds in Deron Gould that the king himself is cursed. <laughs> oh my, what exceptional nonsense. <laughs> Have they been breathing the fumes of their own minds? All right, very amusing. But like Lady Varellen, I am not unsympathetic to our southern friends. Surely some of Isilbright's rules and dictums could be culled, especially if it means avoiding war a much more costly proposition than losing a handful of coin in taxes. Wise counsel, my friend, but I fear the time for compromise is already past. The message from Deron Gould was deliberately provocative, leaving the king no way to negotiate or save face. The time has come, lords and ladies, for us to commit our forces and our purses to our rightful liege and crush Deron Gould. Or throw in with the rebels. They have the gold, they have a well-trained army, and most importantly, they control the mines. In a conflict of any significant length, having control of the source of the kingdom's metals means they must only outlast the North, rather than outright defeat her. Nuve, what is your opinion on recent developments? You're asking the scullery maid? What does- Kindly do not interrupt me while sitting at my table, Lady Larenthal. Well, speak up. Yes. A wise woman must always be cognizant of her own ignorance. Thank you for reminding us all of that fact.
Ladies, my lords, we are under attack. Please take shelter at once. Perhaps the cellar. You may wish to arm yourselves, my lords. They make no secret of their allegiance. They fly the banners of Daron Gould. That one was far at the back. All I could see of him was his vibrant red hair like a flame. Altena. Too little, I'm afraid. Their numbers are overwhelming. We were forced to fall back to the main gate, and they're already... Surely they will listen to reason, wherever they're from. They won't kill us out of hand like so many soldiers. They wouldn't dare, right? Calmly, my friends. Let's all go out to meet them. They're not bandits after all. Yes, go ahead. You have my blessing to speak on my behalf, if it's of any use. You? What? Where are you going? Come with me. Make haste. Of course. You, and you lot, with me. The main gate has already been breached. The House of Espen is about to fall to the agents of Daron Gould. Now, never mind that. Just follow. And you, you've always been a first-rate skulker at Key Halls. Yes, your weird hobbies are no secret to me. Best not face armed soldiers head-on. But, do what you can. I'll go wherever I'm needed. Place to be. Here we go again. Oh, there is. 
yours. Dance. <laughs> I'll go wherever I'm needed. Now listen to me. Listen closely. This is important. The Lady Espen was the love of my life, my one love. There was nothing arranged about our betrothal. You were never so lucky as to meet her yourself. But if you had, she... Gods damn these Derongold swine! Behind me is my dressing chamber. Go fetch my sword from there. you at last, father. Didn't figure you would try and hide from your fate. To be betrayed by my own son, who wouldn't hide from such a terrible end. I've learned a few things, you see. Things your priests and men-at-arms could never teach. I have gained a new perspective, seen the truth of this world. So, you were not even paid in coin to turn traitor against your own house? Pretty words. Kill me if you wish, but I promise it will avail you nothing. Every man pays for his sins, my son, and the price of a sin such as this, well. Enough of your piety! It sickens me. But your last decision, at least, is the correct one. Hold still, father.
Don't worry, my child. Your hardships are over for today. Get up, lazy girl. It's time to go to bed. What? Does this look like Rothgar's realm to you? You're in my hut. But no more questions for tonight. There's a cot over there. You should try to get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow will be a very, very long day. Sleeping this one must have been raised by dream wraiths. Now, how about you make yourself useful and weed the garden? list. Once you've read it, let me know, please. do it. do it. Here we go again. Oh, damn it. That organ. This coming.
course. You know how to read. I have something that will help you gather what we need without hurting yourself too much. Here, put these on. You put your gloves on just like the rest of us, all fingers at the same time. You weren't trying to put them on one finger at a time, were you? By the way, be careful of the creatures in the forest. They can be a bit bitey. Take this stuff as well. It should come handy should you need to protect yourself. Feel free to take a rest if you need. Edible child, come now, you must dry them to bring out the flavor. Surely you've cooked before. I have to wonder what that Lord Espen even had your tutors teach you at his fancy estate. Oh, oh well, take this candle and get to drying. Good, well and dried. Give me just a moment and... There, it's on the fire. Now we have a few precious moments to spare. We should talk. About talking.
Now, there's something you should know. When you leave here, the world you knew yesterday will be gone. The attack on the Espen estate was only the first spark of a consuming fire, I am afraid. Much will be lost to strife and war. There are worse things than war, though. There is something you must understand before you leave here. A great and terrible curse has fallen over Isilmerald and much of the rest of Yerengal. It drives men and women to madness. It starves the prince and turns the pauper to a life of desperation. It is the essence of avarice itself. A curse of greed spreads through the land. Terrible covetousness that hides in mortal hearts. It is among the darkest of dreams. But this is no normal greed, no. There is magic behind it. No mere apprentices can trip either. It is most dangerous, and you must understand that. Ah, the stew is done now. Just let it cool. do it. my way. Yeah. Here we go again. What do you need, my child? in your eye again. No, no more questions for today. Eat your stew and get some rest. Good morning. I fear that our time together is nearing an end. That is the gist of it. Things were put in motion all over Yerengel since I plucked you from your father's house.
Yes, child. But you are ready for the world now. You will succeed. Or perhaps you won't fail. But I think at least you will fail well. Yes, yes. Be safe, my child. It's nice to be needed. I'll do it. Here we go again. <laughs> On my way. You've got this coming.
I'll go wherever I'm needed. Let's dance. That seems like the place to be. I'll do it. Here we go again. On my way. You've got this coming.
Damn it. Listening? The sore sight it is. <laughs> is that a serious question? Even a league beneath the Skag Mountains, everyone knows of the war. Anyway. This was one of the smaller battles between the Sildrite and Derengul. Wow, that's quite a tale. If I was a bard, I'd be taking notes right now. It stands to reason that with your father dead, you are the heir to his estate. This is the road to Asilbrat, you know, capital of Asilmarut, and also the world capital of noble titles. Excellent! Onwards to a Silbright! I'm listening. Nice to be needed. Whatever you say. Why not? Go wherever I'm needed. Point. That seems like the place to be.
What do you need? I'll do it. Hello. I'll go wherever I'm needed. the way. Go ahead. Why go? Why not? On my way. Hello. 
Bye. Hello. I'll do it. I'll do it. On my way. Gentlemen, I merely wish to be on my way. I have no quarrel with you. Call me Soraka, please. Unfortunately, yes, business of a kind. 
They're here on behalf of their master, El Inuator. And not all, Rillo, no. I no longer answer to El Inuator. I've turned to the light of Alunarius. To him I pray now. And to him I have consecrated my faith. El Inuator has reacted badly to my decision. My lords are too kind, but you know, I'm finding it a titch stuffy in here. I believe I will step out for some air. I have a needlepoint back at my apartments that I'm most eager to complete, if you'll excuse me. poetry is alarmingly metaphorical. I still must insist that you speak to no one regarding your thoughts on my resemblance to a flower bud ready to open. my rescue.
I am the Lady Biola of the Feldegug, darling of the court and spellweaver extraordinaire. But of course, you know all that. On my way. I'm listening. Yes. Yes. I'll make it. Go ahead, I go. Hmm, of course. I'll do it.